Well, actually, the government and the countries getting settled to have the biggest debt in the world that's going to be double this year, and that's for pay your utility bills. Probably more and more people are, are going to have utility debt. New York alone has said there's going to be at least 1.4 million households just in New York State uh, that are behind in their electric and gas bills. Uh, <laughs> and consumer advocates are calling for the state to pay off the ballooning debt with federal funding. See, so what's going on around the country, uh, they know that people are going to owe utility bills okay and and the government local government state government has a lot of money that they could use from the stimulus package that they're sitting on so the the you know advocates are trying to get the people trying to get the government to pay utility bills for people <laughs> and he said consumer advocates are calling the state to pay off the ballooning debt yeah, this is just going on, man. You know, because you're you're trying to pay it off yourself. In the spring of 2020, New York passed the nation's only utility shutoff moratorium, protecting heating, uh, power, water, cable, and telephone customers. They couldn't turn you off until December 15th, though <laughs> that's over now. And the the existing state regulations restrict utilities from shutting off heat and electricity until. April 15th. That sounds like a popular day, doesn't it? So they could start shutting you off on April 15th when you send in your taxes. Uh, so they could see that in the coming months. So what they're trying to do is uh, New York has nearly 1.8 billion as of January 2020, according to the data reported by the public service. So that means the people owe that much money. That's more than double the debt of utilities before the pandemic. So that's why like people owe a lot of utility bills. Uh, and so, you know, if you owe that, then you got to pay it somehow, right? But the most important thing but I've been reading, and every state is different, every county is different, so it's different everywhere. But first thing to do is call a utility company and see what they do. Because if you, you know, get into some kind of payment plan, that could stop the whole system. So don't just say, oh, you know, you, you can't pay it all, so you can't do something. There may be something else to do. And, and New York's not the only state. I mean, other states are, are like California has set aside a, bil a billion dollars in federal COVID aid last year to pay electricity, electricity and gas bills. Advocates are now asking for $3 billion for utility and water bills. Say so it could be water, it could be telephone, it could be internet. New Jersey has just spent $30 million of the $250 million that lawmakers set aside last year for the residential utility debt, which is almost more than double the states during the pandemic. See, so it's not even during the pandemic, it's, it's double than what it was. So every state is doing something like that. So that's why if you have trouble paying, you got to do something. Just don't ignore it, ignore it, ignore it, and then they get us shut off and everything. There's probably something you could do, but you have to check. And the first thing is you check is with your uh, utility company. See what programs they have, okay? And if they work or something, maybe there's a payment plan or whatever to just to keep the, the lights on. That's what you want to do. And then you could also find out other programs afterwards to find grants to pay that. But you want to make sure they don't do it. And how do you find other ones? 211.org and findhelp.org. You put in your zip code, you find all the nonprofits that help people with utility bills and call every one of them. I know it's a pain in the butt. People don't like doing this. <laughs> they wanna just fill out a form and get the money. No, you gotta do some work. And that means by taking every one of those people whose jobs it is to help people with utility bills, maybe it's not for you, but they'll know of other people that may be for you. And that's why you have to call each one of these and see they could help you. There's another new organization uh, that, that may help and here they are. They're called the National Association of State Utility Consumer Advocates. So you're always looking for people who would know about this stuff. Okay, see, now what every state has done is set up consumer advocates to fight the utility companies. So they're your people that fight the utility companies. Call their office. Here it is. It's nasuca.org, nasuca.org. And in the member directory, they have the phone numbers of all the consumer advocate offices for every state. Call them up. Hey, 
you know, I'm screwed. <laughs> what can you do? What do we do? Yeah. Uh, and that's it. That's how to get a problem solved. Don't just ignore it because, you know, you're going to be cold <laughs> or hot <laughs> as the summer comes or not have the Internet or, or, or not have water. You know, you don't want any of that to happen. So you have to, you know, get on the phone, start talking. The phone is better for you. If you could only email, that's fine. Uh, but try to get as much personal contact as possible. You know, and then, of course, you have your elected officials. You, know, you bang on them because see, these utility companies are, are, are actually part of the government in a way because they get special licenses to be the only game in town. So that's why they're regulated so much. So because they're regulated, you have power over them. Yeah. <laughs> and, and not by hiring a lawyer, but, but the elected officials, these consumer people, and, and you contact them. So if you go to Common Cause, C O M M O N C A U S E dot com dot org, sorry, and, and put in your uh, address and find all your elected officials. Just start at the top, at the senator's office, and keep working down. Now you can solve a lot of problems, but it's going to take work. You know, and, and if it, uh, a lot of problems are easy to solve, but then a lot of problems become hard to solve. There's other set of problems, a different kind of problems. Yeah. <laughs> And so you you would like the easy ones, yes, but sometimes you're going to get hard ones. So you got to turn into what I call a government grant gopher, and you got to start digging. <laughs> and if you're not going to put on your gopher clothes, <laughs> you're not going to dig it and not going to get it solved. So that's what it takes. And the early bird gets the worm. No, that's another phrase, isn't it? <laughs> well, you know what I mean. Uh, and that's what we do at Let's Go Help. Uh, we help people. Let'sgohelp.com. Uh, it's a place where it's a twenty-dollar subscription, and you could. It's the only place in America where you could apply to every personal grant and business grant in America. So every grant will help you apply. We'll find them. Uh, you could ask us a hundred uh, questions a day. It's all personal help. It's not just throwing a directory at you like I used to. And we also give out our own grants every year. We give every month. Every month we give out 50 grants, a total of $30,000 to members. And all it takes is a sentence or two on what you would do at $1,000. Now, if you don't want to give me any money, I understand. I have something for you too. And that's you go to, go to lesgofreehelp.com. And that's where uh, I have my grants masterclass. That's a masterclass, uh, about 37 videos that tells you how to use the system, how to get grants out of anything, okay? Uh, so that's lesgofreehelp.com. You want to give me money? Let's go help.com. <laughs> you want free help or you want the help? And don't forget the help is unlimited personal.